party that you I said there that. was a party at Clyde Davis's house, and that's where the story began. Yeah, I know some guys who worked personally with Clyde Davis, and they had to leave him before they heard him. Clive Davis, the web around him, the network that he's created. It's a network of evil, period. It would appear that today is the day we delve into the murky depths of Hollywood's shady underbelly. Everything from wild parties to illicit hookups has been witnessed by those working in this field. Clyde Davis, a legendary record producer, is known for attending some of the raunchiest parties in the history of the music industry. Clyde Davis and Diddy have been dating covertly for over five years, confirming years of speculation. When discussing Diddy, one must acknowledge the massive success he has achieved. Disco Bad Boy, you must be familiar with it, working with famous people like Notorious Big and Usher propelled his company to overnight success. But what exactly is the backstory of the man? Jaguar Wright is dishing the dirt on Puff Daddy's industry dominance, wealth, and more. Strap in, folks, because things are about to get juicy. Puff be moving niggas around, you know? But he got that catalog. He got that catalog and he's been making money off of it and he bought that, that big old mansion down the street from Rape Central. We've got the inside scoop on the latest music industry scandal. How did a young musician become so popular so quickly? His friendship with music industry icon Clive Davis may hold the key. Clive Davis is a well-known figure in the contemporary music industry, but now he's famous for something completely different, his love life. After experiencing two failed marriages, Clive embarked on a quest to discover his sexual orientation and seems to have learned more about himself than just his preferences. I opened up myself after the failure of my second marriage, never having had anything with a man, to see could I be attracted to the person and not the gender. This introspection led him to the conclusion that he wasn't as straight as he had thought he was for the previous half century. And I did find that I could be attracted uh, to a man while I still am very attracted to a woman. After coming to this conclusion, Clive decided it was time for him to settle down with a man. Then in 1990, he entered into a monogamous relationship with an unnamed male doctor. That relationship ended in 2004. Clive claims he's never felt any shame for having feelings for other men. I never felt shame, no, I felt puzzled. The subject of bisexuality really needs much more discussion. It's a status that does exist. Clyde Davis has been in a monogamous relationship with a mysterious man for years, and now it has been revealed that the man is none other than the well-known music mogul Diddy. The music business has been known to produce some wild tales, but this one takes the cake. P. Diddy, known as Puff Daddy, known as Sean Combs. Allegedly in 1994, Sean Combs requested doing sexual favors for Clive Davis so that Bad Boy Records could be what it is. Clive, who has been married twice and divorced once, is curious about his feelings for male partners. After that, he started dating an anonymous man, and they were still together. Clive and his mystery companion went to parties and on trips together, but he never once let on who he was with. Though it didn't take long for the public to put two and two together and identify Diddy as the suspect. If you pay attention to a lot of pictures, especially with Clive and Diddy, Diddy is in a lot of places that Clive is in. The fact that Clive and Diddy are both out and about as a couple speaks volumes, even if the fact that they are frequent event attendees and close friends might not be enough to confirm a relationship. It's obvious that the two have known each other for a long time and have a special bond, and it's interesting to speculate on how that may have contributed to Diddy's success in the music business. It's not something that just popped, you know, into my mind one day. I've known ever since I was a child that I liked men and women, and a lot of men feel that they are bisexual. Diddy and Clive's friend Friendship has been well known for years. The odds of Clive and Diddy getting together are about as likely as seeing Snoop Dogg at a weed festival. What with Clive being in a committed relationship with a man and Diddy being rumored to be gay? Clive has never denied the rumors, and his openness about his sexuality and relationships only adds weight to them. And Diddy, he just hasn't said a word about it. When Diddy was 23 years old, he met the legendary music executive Clive Davis. Diddy's hip-hop ideas wowed Clive despite the ruthless competition they faced in the industry. Clive recalls how he had been looking for an artist with genuine people-to-people -people ties prior to their first meeting. Fortunately, he was able to find his ideal partner in Diddy. Puffy was 23 years old, and I knew the artists that I had, Aretha, Dion, Whitney, was one kind of music. Davis says, My face ushered in blue-collared R&B at its height. But, sensing the hip-hop revolution, both Ella Reed and I agreed that we could use someone really attuned to the street. You gotta know what you can do for yourself, and you gotta know when you need to look to other people. 
Reportedly, Diddy was an employee at Uptown Records who reported to Andre Hall. When he met Clive Davis, however, everything changed. According to Clive's recollection, he was able to persuade him with his words. When I met with Puffy, he articulated that hip-hop should be part of the top 40 mainstream and that the business would change in the future. And I said, what have you got to illustrate that point? And he played me Crate Max Flava in your ear and he played me the then unknown artist that he felt and believed so strongly. He played me four or five cuts from Notorious B.I.G. Clive apparently saw this as more than enough evidence to convince him of the merits of his plan because he informed Diddy as much. I said, okay, you proved your point. That's when I introduced him to the weekly, what we called singles meetings. I introduced him to an executive there as someone who would help lead us to the street and share in the forthcoming hip hop revolution. Put the brakes on before we act on these shocking accusations. Clyde Davis's prominence in the music business is widely known. However, little is known about his private life. Well, after getting married twice and divorcing both times, he figured it was time to figure out if he was even attracted to men. And with who do you think he eventually settled into a committed, monogamous relationship? Who else but Puff Daddy? Now, some people have speculated for years as to how Diddy became so successful so rapidly. But now that their connection with Clive has been confirmed, it's easy to see why some people might assume there was more than just business between them. To actually signing a deal that he had sexual activity with these people before either dropping them or never signing them in the first place, more so of using them for sexual favors. Clive has never directly denied the rumors that he and Diddy were an item, despite his outspokenness about his sexuality and relationships. And Diddy, well, he's never spoken out about the rumors either. It's true that Clive has a history of helping young musicians break through, but we shouldn't assume that's why he's teaming up with Diddy. After all, Clive did assist Diddy in launching Bad Boy Records and maintained financial support for the company for many years. Sure, there have been rumors about Diddy's sexual orientation, but until he makes an official statement, we can only guess. This was just one of many times that Diddy displayed overt homosexual behavior. Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard, also shared some hilarious tales of the rap homosexual antics. He once caught sight of Diddy and another rap star sneaking out of the hotel room wearing nothing but bathrobes. Diddy obviously wasn't worried about Gene finding out the truth about his sexual orientation. The former bodyguard claims that Diddy slept with whoever he wanted, both before and after Kim Porter's death. Diddy is aggressive in his pursuit of male musicians and rappers. He even tried to hit on 50 Cent once, but the rapper was having none of it. At Chris Knighty's wedding, he told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Everybody see, don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> Buffy do some like, like, little fluffy stuff. Now, reports claim that 50 Cent quickly saw through Diddy's invitation for a shopping trip and turned down the offer. It seems that Diddy wasn't only interested in seducing 50 Cent. Usher has revealed some shocking details about his stay at Diddy's mansion. Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn flavor some... Camp. Yeah, flavor Camp? Yeah, that's what it was called. Well, very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. Usher admitted in an interview that he was first exposed to sexual activity, drugs, and parties when he was only 14 years old. Apparently, inebriated Diddy once casually mentioned waking up next to Usher. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and... I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how... I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes. Many of Diddy's followers are under the impression that he was compelled to date Clive in order to advance his career. Someone penned, Sean Diddy Combs was given his bad boy imprint by Aristus Clive Davis, who is openly gay. What Sean had to do for riches is not uncommon for successful black men in entertainment and politics. All that glitters is not gold. Run your race. Let the next man run his. Some people believe that Diddy's silence on the subject of the rumors that he's gay over the years proves that the rumors are true. He would have acted quickly to counter them if they weren't valid. Diddy is deaf gay alemfow I on no, no grown straight man that's not gonna address a gay rumor that's been circulating for years. Diddy has made it a point to quickly clear up rumors regarding him and other women over the years, and his fans agree, which only adds to the surprise of this twisty tale. One person tweeted the exact same thing. Diddy has cleared up the side chick claims but has yet to clear the gay rumors. Diddy and Clyde have been together for a long time, but they never come clean about their relationship. However, there is little room for doubt given their actions and behaviors. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.